Well, here uh, a project from a whole other, whole other, other level. For small, for very small, very, uh, very little projects, but I think a very fine project. My name is Tom Haasberg. I'm a private archaeologist in the in the Netherlands. Uh, so I'm uh, always urged to work together with a lot of parties, and it is really one of the projects uh, in which we work together. And thank you for the invitation to, to tell here the story about uh, Nikerum Pudum in Zwammerdam. These are two names you will hear a lot today, of this, uh, the next quarter of an hour. I will tell you about the joyful developments in which heritage is completely integrated with tourism and the care for disabled people. This happens in the village of Zwammerdam, in the western part of the Netherlands along the River Rhine. In Zwammerdam lies one of the Roman auxiliary forts of the northern, Rome, uh, the northern border of the Roman Empire in the period 1500 AD. This border we call the Lower German Limes. The fort of Zwammerdam was discovered in 1969 during the preparatory work of the foundation of an estate for mental and physical disabled people. In addition of the Roman fort, the site also offered uh, dis uh, the discovery of six spectacular Roman shipwrecks. My contribution to this session contains a successful attempt to achieve a fully integrated cooperation of presentation to archaeolo archaeological research, tourism, and the care for disabled people. For that, I bring you back to March 29th in the year 1974. That day, the late Queen Juliana of the Netherlands visited the excavation of the Roman barge number four in Zwammerdam. Here the Queen is listening attentively to the explanation of archaeologist Martin de Weert of the oak planks of the shipwreck. Ship Zwammerdam was part of the spectacular discovery of the Limes for Nikum Kulum and six Roman shipwrecks, three barges, three canoes, some of them reused as fishing tanks. It was the first time they were thoroughly researched and described. And the technical aspects of the barges were typical, and the village of discovery gave its name to a new Roman Gallo, uh, Gallo Roman ships, the Zwammerdam type. Since then, some dozens of ships of this type have been excavated in the Dutch Limes area throughout uh, and throughout Europe. The Zwammerdam fort is one of the sites along the, along the lower German Limes on the south bank of the river Rhine in the west of the Netherlands. It is known as Nivrum Pudum. The castellum was founded in the year 47 AD and existed until the 70s of the 3rd century. During its final stages it was rebuilt in stone with a relatively large principia and outside the fort a figure stretched out along some 100 meters of the Limes road. The front of the fort lies just 20 meters from the bank of the Roman Rhine, which was transformed into a harbor here. In this area, the shipwrecks was dis uh, were discovered. Because of the high groundwater level in this area, the wood of the ships was in good condition at the time of excavation. For the first time, archaeologists were able to excavate documents and preserve some complete specimens of this type of Roman barge. And the maritime excavation <coughs> of uh, Zwammerdam was the starting point of a rich Dutch and European tradition of research on ship construction, inland navigation, transport and trade. In the following years, comparable barges were excavated in, uh, uh, all along the River Rhine. In four decades, the Dutch Limes had yielded some 20 shipwrecks. This collection of ships <coughs> consisting, uh, consisting of wood, nails, Coking remnants, small finds, and their context provides an outstanding set of data for the research. Moreover, the ships represent a typical character of the lower German Limes as a river frontier. For these reasons, the ship play a principal role in the nomination of the lower German Limes as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The ship finds not only drew the attention to researchers from all over the world, but turned out to be real crowd pullers as well. During the excavation, the roads to Zwammerdam were too small for the crowd that followed Queen Juliana. Whereas the more recent discoveries of Roman shipwrecks, the Mir 1 and the Warden 7, both in 2003, attracted 10,000 of people. 
sufficient evidence that the barges will play a prominent role in the tourist-oriented uh, in the tourist-oriented development of the Lower German Limes, connected to the UNESCO nomination program. In 2013, Leiden University joined in a feasibility study for bringing the original ship finds back to the region of discovery. The return of the Rotterdam ships would fit in the uh, development of the Dutch Limes uh, for the public. This development is quite a challenge because the Roman remains are below ground and invisible. To expose the border, they are being rebuilt. And that's what we do. All, the li all along the Dutch Limes, small and large-scale projects are underway. On some locations, real sites forts are being reconstructed in wooden Republic and sail on a Roman barge. And in Alphen aan de Rijn, archaeological park Argeum takes the visitors back to Roman time. The final goal is the realization of a string of pearls along the Limes that people can enjoy in their own region, but also forms a line along which one can walk, cycle, or sail. For now, we leave the heritage and tourism aspect of this development, and we bend our attention to the people who actually live and work on top of the Limes heritage in Sommerdam. Ipse de Brugge. The name of the organization that owns uh, uh, the estate in Zwammerdam offers special care to disabled people. It supports clients in leading their own lives and participating in society. During the 1970s, the estate was structured to guarantee the, the clients peace and quiet. Due to new medical insights and growing individualism, Ideas have now changed regarding the relationship between clients and the rest of society. This development made Ips de Brugge, the organization, decide to realize more interaction between clients and visitors of this estate. Of the estate. So the, ambi uh, the ambitions to both the Limes network as a public uh, uh, line and a place and Ips de Brugge resulted in a joint venture in Zwammerdam. The objective was to establish a first-class visitor center, combining an exhibition on the estate. And in the summer of 2014, the organization Ipse de Brugge decided to strengthen the estate by investing in its Roman history. The government, the province of South Holland, offered a grant for the realization of the Roman ambitions. As the coalition of the willing is established, now we can watch how the visitors uh, how the visitor center, now renamed uh, Nigo Gulum, looks like and what the story is to be told to the visitors and how the inhabitants and the workers of the estate benefit of it. On the estate, the visitors learn one, that the world famous former dump ships were discovered on this side and that the research on Roman barges was born here, and two, that the ships were discovered in the context of a castellum and the other archaeological finds on the estate. It gives the site its own position in the Lower German Limes. If you want to know something about the Swammer Dump ships, Ligopulum is the place to go. The presentation also deals with other subjects, for instance, military border system, a life at the Limes. Uh, but visitors who wish to learn more about these are referred to other presentations along the Limes. This anticipates the interpretative framework for the Lower Limes, which is developed as is done for a Hadrian's work. The line of the Roman story has been con concentrated in a Roman trail of, over the estate. Visitors following the trail will learn about the way the landscape was structured in Roman times, the course of the Rhine as it was then, the cave with the ships, the castellum, and the neighboring uh, trade settlement. The information is provided not only on static panels, but also in an augmented reality presentation for mobile phones called Time Travel. This Roman trail is maintained by disabled clients. The gates and the wall of the Castellum and the Precipia are visualized on the site of discovery. The materials needed for the visualization are provided from the workshop, workshops of the Healthcare Institute itself. The banners marking the wall of the Castellum are the product of the sewing workshop and the benches which bring back the vertical dimension of the headquarters building are produced by inhabitants of the estate. 
In the Grand Café in the middle of the Roman Trail, an extensive Roman exposition tells the story of the ships and the fort in, on two levels. One for the clients and one for the tourists, in, for, uh, for the Limes tourists. The barge Roman 6 takes pride place in the exhibition with a real size image in the entrance in the central space. And the high quality collection of the archaeological finds from the estate is another mainstay of the exhibition. Spectacular objects include the bronze shield knot on which two successive owners, both serving the Roman cavalry, wrote their names. And in the Grand Café, personnel of the Institute and the Limes tourist are served by a team of clients. And the arrival of Limes tourists and groups of school children will guarantee a good turnover of the projects of the products sold uh, in the Limes shop in the expo in the expo building. These the products, Limes related or otherwise, that clients make during their daytime activities. So the visitor center of Nikumpulum will mean more jobs for clients and inhabitants. They're producing the, uh, the, by producing the Castellum Garden and the shop, waiting on people in the Grand Café, uh, assisting in the shop, maintenance in the Roman Trail, and support at large events. And especially for the clients, workers, uh, in the Limes tourism on the estate, the education department of Ips de Brugge has developed a Roman teaching module uh, about Roman soldier Marcus Castel. And Marcus Castel will also serve as a mascot during uh, during events in Swammerdam. And besides the jobs for the inhabitants, the, the tourist oriented development of the Limes has also occasioned a more attractive decoration of the new community center, making the estate more appealing. And above all, the integration of the estates into the tourist highway of the Romans Limes reinforces the open correct, uh, character of the healthcare institute and stimulates interaction between its clients and the general public in a natural way in a cultural and an economic environment. Over 40 years, we tried to bring back the Zwammerdam ships to the place of discovery. The present cooperation, however, has finally achieved the greatest success possible. Different parties have succeeded in uniting their interests in a joint venture. In the visitor center of Migumpulu, Roman history now makes a positive contribution to the daily life of clients and employees. In this way, the famous Roman barges of Swammerdam support people with multiple, uh, disabled, uh, with multiple disab disabilities and their caregivers. Thank you for your attention.